Okay, we've got the main air chamber done. We're going to put the barrel assembly together now. It's a two-step barrel, a stage or stepped barrel. The reason you want a step barrel, you don't have to have it. You can use one diameter for the whole thing. Reduces cavitation when you shoot, gives you much better control over a wider pressure range. It's just the way to go. But again, you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. I'm using one, as I've already said. Do the usual prime thing. Okay. So that's a one and a quarter inch section. That's 13 inches long. Another connector. Now the only reason I put a connector on the end like that is to make it look good. Give the step barrel effect. It looks best when you paint it, of course. Be generous with the glue. So all you got now is a pipe with two connectors on either end. One to quarter inch to one inch adapter. It's the main barrel. This is a one inch barrel by 24 inches long. I'm trying to make all the writing aim down. This doesn't really matter. The ball valve we drilled is going um, first, aiming on the forward part of the barrel section. That's the part you actually load in the projectile, which is going to be a marshmallow in this case. Just make sure the valve opens and shuts properly. It should. I like it on the right-hand side. I'm right-handed. I just prefer the writing to be down so you can hold it so it aims like it's that way. Make sure the valve is going to behave itself. No glue the valve in place, meaning the ball I want to open and shut, of course. This chunk here, three and a quarter inch. Again, I'll try to put the writing down. If you paint it, it helps uh, cover up the writing, of course. Okay. 